Hi Vivis and welcome to my channel. In today's video we are gonna finally test some of the Makeup Obsession brushes. I made the video about a week, maybe a week and a half ago and I asked you guys after the full haul showing you every single one of them and let me tell you, if you not watched that, you are missing. That was a treat because there were so many gorgeous brushes. But I asked you to comment in the description, like comment underneath the video if there were some of the brushes you really wanted me to test out and see um, how did they work and of course uh, what my honest opinion was and everything you guys were amazing overwhelming with always your comments and I always try to get back as much as I can but sometimes it's very hard because you guys are amazing and way too many and I'm super excited but anyway let's uh, go and the one that actually got the most requests uh, without no surprise because we all knew the marmite brushes of course they were the one that got the most hits they were the one that most people wanted to see so this one over here is a trend edition marmaid dreams brushes just really quickly if you did not watch that video so the trend edition brushes all three pack of them they are all limited edition and they're all retail for 20 pound so if you do see them uh, grab them i know they're going to be available in selected boots but if you are outside the uk you can go to the tan beauty website and you can just get them from there and they ship worldwide uh, and all that jazz the other brushes they actually go quite higher up but not as much because come on marmaids are kind of slick but of course uh, you guys want me to test out some of the um marble one and that's why today i'm wearing my marbles nails that i got for like a pound in primark you guys probably have seen us so many times and yes i know i probably made videos before this and of course i'm gonna make a couple of videos after this telling you how much i'm happy with how my nails are doing with nail those nails but today it was just really a necessity so i'm gonna test out the biggest one so the large oval face one you can of course as you can see you can get them individually and the large one is retail for 12 pounds and the smaller one there is highlighting one and i'm gonna use it for my concealer and everything is retail for 10 pounds so overall we are gonna test out a few uh, of um a few of these brushes of course we're gonna test out them all come on let's be real like i really want to try them but of course we have some for the eyes some for the cheeks and some for the face so i think without further ado because I've been uh, literally having like a talking diarrhea like I keep on talking uh, let's just uh, right into the video and apply some makeup because I'm scary today Boo! So the first brush we're gonna try, of course, is the large one, is the marble oval. I'm quite excited because it's my foundation one. And before I start, I get you here a close-up so you can really see how pretty it is. I do have to say I love the bristle, I love the packaging, like I love the way it's made. And it's also very, very strong and I actually really like the fact they're improved on the quality because they feel very, very luxurious, very, very good. And yes, I think we should just start. I'm gonna use my position formula and I'm gonna literally just like squirt it onto my brush and see how I feel and of course I already don't know what to put this foundation all right let's do this and before I'm actually starting I'm gonna tell you that uh, I did already prime my face I used my primer already and yeah I forgot to record that part I think it's because I was finishing my eyebrows uh, then I already put the primer on and let's see so, right out of the bat, it is moving the product quite nicely. This foundation it is more of a natural coverage, so it's not gonna give me like a full, full, heavy one. And uh, let me see, the, um, putting the actual product on the brush, it, it is kind of not um, moving as much. Like, it's giving me like good, um, like a decent coverage, and also it is blending it very nicely, but the product is not going as fast and as far as I wanted it so what I'm gonna do I am gonna like dot it on onto my face this time and see if I can get a little bit more um, more around with this instead of like um, doing directly on the brush I want to see how well it's gonna do once the product is on and that will probably be a good tip as well because that's the thing is like sometimes you also need to kind of like think about it how to work with different brushes and I always like to keep two fingers or one at the bottom of it like at the back only because I don't want to put too much pressure and then snap it but to be honest with you even if I don't the brush is not really like moving as much but that's just like on the long run I want to make sure this brush is gonna last me as long as possible but yeah it's feeling very very nice and I do like that. I actually really, really enjoying this. So far, so good. 
So far so good, so now I'm gonna move in with the smaller brush, so the oval one that I do have to say for underneath the eyes, I think this is gonna be the bomb. So I'm using my concealer and this one is the L'Oreal True Match. So I'm gonna take just a little bit, and when I mean a little bit, I mean a lot because uh, this foundation is very natural looking, but um, I do need a little bit of a coverage, especially underneath my eyes. And I'm gonna also like a little bit of like highlight as well. So I'm picking just enough. And when I mean enough, as I said, I mean a lot. Oh wow, then I just look beautiful. So let me go in with this brush and press and blend. So um, kind of like the feel already, they are very, very similar. So they have the same um, kind of like feel onto the bristle. Again, even the handle on this one, it does feel quite secure, so I do like, again, I feel like pretty much all the brushes uh, now they have improved a lot. And that's what I like about it, it's like, you know, you start, you get um, your name out, you get your brushes out, and then you see how they feel and what people are thinking about them. And I do have to say, a lot of people are really enjoying these brushes over here, and I do see why, because it takes like literally two seconds to do like much everything so why not so let me just uh, blend 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 and blend and blend 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 so right away i do have to say i am enjoying these both brushes i think they are very good they feel very very sturdy and that's one of the things that i'm really looking forward when i see brushes like this they need to feel very secure the handle needs to be good they need to feel easy to apply and to hold and they definitely are doing that and i'm enjoying them also the bristle and the way they blended they were stunning like you can't see any lines any streaks like it all looks gorgeous and i did not use any sponge or any kind of like behind the scene application what you see is what you get but I do have to say and that is kind of like my tip is apply your product directly into your skin and then use the brush because if you are using the brush most of the product will actually like get absorbed and then we actually saw it at the beginning with our foundation that squirted into the brush only did a small area and then the rest we did need actually to go in with more foundation so that's the only thing is go hard onto your foundation directly into your face and you'll be good but now we are gonna try out the Marmaid brushes. Everybody wants the Marmaid and uh, I'm here giving it to you. So this set over here, as I said, they contains four brushes. One of them is a large face powder brush. Second is a flat contour brush. Then there is a crease blending brush and a small concealer brush. The small concealer brush is actually something that today we're gonna use for our eyes. So add a little bit of shadow only because we're ready for our concealer and I'm not really planning to like, do double concealer and also as well like when you get a brush they are always multi-purpose of course they have more of a recommendation but you can definitely use like face brushes for your eyes and vice versa like don't worry about that too much it's when you see a brush it will call your name and you just have fun so the first brush of course we're gonna go in is a large face one because we need to set this foundation and this concealer and I'm gonna use this Milani Prep Set and Go translucent powder so let's watch how this is gonna be applied so first of all, I want to give you like a good close up if you haven't seen them before, like the tail of a marmaid is give me life and also the bristle are very very nice and super super soft. As well, I've seen people actually wash them, I have not personally, but they've said they do not shed, they do not actually have a loose color and everything, so I'm quite excited to actually use them and then wash them myself and I will definitely let you know later on the line if they are shedding or if they are changing colors. One thing I do want to mention is actually they have a very beautiful weight to them and also the bristles are super super soft and I do like that and the length is quite good because I can hold it into my arms feeling quite secure and it is doing very well. I know I'm using only translucent powder so you can't really see much but the fact that I'm like I go in and there is not one bristle that has shed it is quite good and quite impressive so I do like that and it feels so soft that I really really like but now we are gonna move in with some color because we do need a little bit of color in our life I feel like a little bit pale so that means it's now time to do a little bit of contouring so I'm using the contouring brush there is definitely smaller even if it is short it's definitely still very fluffy so I'm using like a powder one and I'm using my MAC medium tan mineralized skin finish dust off the excess and we are just gonna like start to 
carve a little bit. I do like this shape over here because they tend to be very precise so you can really like see your cheekbones and do underneath and just go in and out. So my tips is going in and out and then blend up as well. So that kind of like smokes everything on the top. It's picking up quite a nice amount of product and it's not feeling too heavy. And I like that. It's not really settling into my skin or into the makeup. And sometimes it does actually help that uh, the brush needs to be good because if the brush is not really working well, it's kind of like pulling and tagging a little bit. But this one is really not doing that. And I really, really like it. And you can see how blendable it is. So yeah, let me do the rest of my face. So I'm gonna do my other cheek and then we do a little bit of noise for head. You watch and see, we are gonna get a little bit snatched today because uh, we really need, like today is literally I'm filming on a Monday and I really need to pump up myself. I feel like I really need uh, some good makeup. Contouring is nice and done, so now we're gonna put a little bit of blush on and I'm gonna go back in actually with the first brush because it's a little bit more softer So we'll kind of blend much much easier and uh, probably better and as well So I'm gonna do a little bit of this Milani Luminosa blush Is a blush I've been having for quite some time and I do really like I like for example peachy blush you guys know and yeah, it's applying very, very nice. Let me open up. I got a little mirror over here, so that kind of helps me. Because sometimes the viewfinder um, is not your best friend. And also I feel quite rude when I look, for example, like if I look at my viewfinder, I will look straight there. But then you can never catch my eye, so I do find it is a little bit rude. Especially because I like to talk to you, so yeah, that's the thing, but it does happen. But yeah, so far it is a blending, quite nice. And I like it because it's like working on as well on, uh, um, on everything. Uh, so yeah, let me see. Looks good! I like it. Of course now it's our favorite time, so I'm using exactly the same brush and I'm gonna pinch it in so it kind of gets a little bit more flat and I'm using this uh, eyeliner from Freedom called Ho Boy and yeah, I'm taking just a little bit and then I'm just like tit, 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 tit. Yes! Oh, oh my god, look how pretty it is. It's probably not like the most comfortable one, but let me tell you again another way to use the brush is to just work with what you have so you don't have to add 20,000 brushes because this one does the job just right. Our face makeup is done and now we're gonna move it into the eyes. And of course, I'm gonna use this brush over here. There is the blending one and this shadow over here, there is, it looks gorgeous. And this one is again, another Freedom and is Intervention Eye Foil in the pack called Burnt. Oh my goodness, I really, really like this one. So I'm taking just a little bit and excess away and then we're just gonna blend it into our crease so let's do it right now goodness me this eyeshadow is super pigmented and the way this brush is putting it down it is very very nice yeah this brush is good i like it because it's like it's blending but it's not really taking away the color so i'm going to like blend 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 maybe i took a little bit too much eyeshadow maybe not let's see let's blend I do have to say I'm enjoying that brush quite a lot. I found that like it blended beautifully. There was no tugging, no pulling. I do have to say these brushes are definitely top quality. I'm enjoying them a lot. Also the shape was very intriguing and kind of worked really well with my crease. Like, goodness, that was good. I wish you could actually buy them individually and uh, that would be absolutely amazing because I know the set is actually limited edition and I'm like, that brush is so good. But now we are gonna put a little bit of shimmer onto the center of our eye and of course we're gonna use this little bikini over here then I know it is for concealer but today we're using it for eyeshadow and of course I am going to wet my brush with the fix and spray by revolution I want this foil eyeshadow to give me life and the one that I'm using is the freedom under your spell very excited let's just put this one right on right now let's just sparkle 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 I 
I do have to say I am liking a lot my eyeshadow today like two eyeshadows and this is the look I am sold I actually really really like it like I personally feel like with a little bit of liner maybe some lashes this is gonna be a very very good look like I like it and I do have to say that brush was definitely very good it was stiff enough because it's more of a concealer brush but wetting it to do eyeshadow it was so precise so intense no gaps you guys know all the good stuff that I do actually really like so what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna finish my face to do the rest of my makeup and when I am back I'm gonna tell you my final thoughts about these brushes over here and what do I really think about it and of course all that good all that jazz and uh, maybe I'm gonna tell you something more you should might stick around because uh, you never know like Carmi sometimes is full of surprises <laughs> And here we have a baby, so the look is complete and I do have to say I am liking my makeup today. I feel like it's very soft, very natural, but definitely nice and beat. And these brushes definitely have helped a lot. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go in and tell you more about the brushes and definitely my like my final opinion now that I finally test them out. So the first one that I'm gonna talk about is actually the marble brushes and I'm gonna tell you something that I feel. I definitely think that they have improved a lot on their quality like the way they actually like move is definitely much stronger than the original one so definitely a huge thumbs up for improving their brushes absolutely loving that the bristle of feels absolutely gorgeous and they took literally two seconds to do my foundation price wise as well for brushes they are definitely good in price that is 10 pounds and 12 pounds and a brush this big for do your foundation for 12 pounds is a bargain it's absolutely a steal like normally like they will cost over 30 30 pounds and I definitely have to say they are drugstore friendly they are customer friendly they are definitely wallet friendly like you're not gonna break the bank and you do get a great great brush designer is beautiful and the effect that gives me to their skin and of course how quick it was it was absolutely amazing and now we're gonna go in with the other four brushes this one is a mermaid one and of course I do have to say getting four brushes for 20 pounds is definitely very very good like each and individual of them will only cost you five pounds and that is beautiful especially when you consider like a face brush normally again they do tend to have a higher price and even sometimes when you buy them like into the drugstore you do find them for about 15 to 20 pounds each when now you get four of them for 20 pounds so I like them the handle there is nothing to say it's just beautiful the way it's done is gorgeous they have a great weight also I found the bristle that none of them has actually shed any bristle and I do like that they came with a very very good shape into them they blended nice. I also really like this one over here to do my eyeshadow. I probably will say that I think I'm gonna use Oliver eyeshadow because the way it blended was beautiful. And I do have many, many brushes for do my concealer. So I like them and I like them quite a lot. The only things I do have to say, it's kind of a shame that they're actually limited edition because I wish you guys could always find them because I know sometimes you can't just like go and always grab your brushes, but they are limited edition and that's a little bit sad. And I wish they could actually sell like individually as well because uh, I would definitely buy like five more of this blending brush because they are so good and I do like always to have like a clean backup because cleaning brushes uh, sometimes is a struggle but overall I definitely think that both of this brush or both of the set were absolutely amazing and I've definitely recommended to you and you can guys definitely have to see so my only suggestion is go out for yourself uh, go and have a look uh, always make sure it is what you you're looking for and what you actually really really need and like but overall guys i hope you really enjoyed this video and of course if you like me and if you like my videos give me a good thumbs up stay subscribed leave me a comment down below and make sure if you can leave uh, so many suggestions and of course uh, share this video let's get our baby family bigger and bolder and stronger here on the youtube land but anyway guys thank you so so much for watching and for your love because it means so much to me and if there are some other brushes that you guys want me to test i will definitely test them out in upcoming videos i am thinking to work on a video with a big giveaway because um school is about to start so i, I want to definitely treat some of my babies uh, that go to school because uh, we do need makeup the year is long and there is a lot of maths problem to solve and a little bit of lipstick always help but anyway guys thank you so, so much for watching and always remember like if you like hate if you hate and until next time you're welcome